What's good? Welcome back to another creepy TikTok compilation, man. This is a good one right here. We got a lot of good ones. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Man. I'm just gonna do it like that. If a dream persists in your memory, it was a premonition. Get ready to discover surprising facts. The last question will leave you astonished. Your okay. true friend is the second person who appears when you click on the arrow just below, then on WhatsApp. Only two living people know the secret formula of Coca-Cola. The most viewed video of all time on YouTube is Baby Shark Dance, produced by Pink Fong. Comment, I always do and let your keyboard finish the sentence. A broken clock can show the exact time twice a day. The fear of bathing is called ablutophobia. The film that has won the most Oscars is Ben-Hur. A pencil can write a line of about 56 kilometers. Comment greedy in the comments and you'll unlock a secret TikTok emoji. 80% of people watching this video have their legs crossed. Okay. If you type, do I barrel roll into Google, your screen will rotate. Carbonated water is practically a flavorless drink. Every year, humans forget about 40% of the information they learn. Before revealing wow. the question, don't forget to subscribe and like Yo. this video. Is 5G... Did you just hear what he just said? They lose 40... Humans lose 40% of what they already learned every year. So that means you really need to be exercising your brain like every day. Wow, bro. That's crazy. Or revealing the question, Wait, hold on, I gotta replay that, legs bro. crossed. If you type, do I barrel roll into Google, your screen will rotate. Carbonated water is practically a flavorless drink. Every year, humans forget about 40% of the information they learn. Before humans forget about 40% of the information they have learned. Bro, you need to be exercising your brain out like almost every day. That's crazy. That's actually revealing crazy the word. question. Don't forget that. to subscribe and like this video. Is 5G technology really used to monitor and manipulate the population? Mm -hmm. What is that? Venom? Is that you? <laughs> is that Venom? That's crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. The sky is telling us something. What is going on, bro? I've never seen this guy look like that. Wow. That's crazy. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. As I'm sure you know by now, this shows all the conspiracy theories from the most well-known to the darkest of the dark. And in this series, we're going from the top to the bottom. Now, I know it's been a while, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we're back. We're back. And just you wait. Let's go. This will mess you up and you're never going to want to sleep again. So good luck. So, have you ever had a lucid dream before? You must have done. A dream that just feels really, really real. Mm -hmm. Like you're actually in it. It feels like the real world for all you know. Sometimes it even feels like you're stuck because you just can't wake back up. Time feels longer. It actually feels like a whole day in there or something. These dreams feel so real sometimes that you may actually think you're awake in the real world when you're actually asleep. Hear me out. Now, dream theory suggests that we are switched. Meaning that perhaps the world we are in right now, you watching this video, is actually the dream world. And when you dream, that is the real world and you are awake. So yeah, it's what? Gonna switch around. pretty terrifying. But it's going to get so much worse, so hit that follow button and I'll see you in the I next one tomorrow. That, but damn. Three videos facts. showing facts. alleged skinwalkers. What is that? Okay, bro, what is that? <laughs> Just sitting there, like, come on, man. I'm starting to believe in these skinwalkers, bro. They got too much information on this. What? Nah. Cut it out.
And he finna eat the cereal. He finna eat the cereal. Nah, that's crazy. I thought Bo was finna eat the cereal. Who knows? He probably did. I don't know. China may hold the secret to that's my boy Kai. Cave explorers in China stumbled upon something otherworldly on our own world recently. An enormous prehistoric forest located within a giant sinkhole. The sinkhole, known as Tian Kang, or Heavenly Pit, measures some 630 feet deep and spans a length equivalent to three football fields, and houses what? species of flora that are considered prehistoric, with scientists now saying it could- Bro, we need to go over there. <laughs> like what? Bro, I will build me a house all the time. Nah. Think to my it's the size of two football fields. Oh my god, just imagine how big our planet really is. Yo, I want my planet back. I want them to stop hindering us. Because they're hindering us from living great, man. We should be having fruit trees everywhere. It's it's irritating, man. It's really irritating. And creatures otherwise extinct or unknown to humankind. Could this discovery shed some light onto our past or even our future? Will we find something dangerous there? A grave warning to humans to stay out. We may find out sooner rather than later. Follow this channel for more strange stories. Imagine that since the beginning, 2012 was indeed the year of the end of the world. You might not have noticed, but since 2012, I feel like time is passing faster. Since 2012, people have been 100% negative and no longer see the bright side of things. Since 2012, the weather has been acting erratically, more often than it should. It snows more and more in May, and more often than it should, it's sunny in winter. Since 2012, more and more meteorites, asteroids, whatever you want to call them, are passing closer to planet Earth. Since 2012, more and more animals are exhibiting strange behaviors. Since 2012, people's health has been deteriorating. Since 2012, at the beginning of each new year, something crazy happens. In 2018, the Earth almost got obliterated by a meteorite. In 2019, a third world war was almost triggered. In 2020, a global virus. In 2021, a global crisis. In 2022, yet another near occurrence of a third world war. So, with all this happening every year, something wild, I'm left with a question. I wonder what will happen at the end of 2023. <laughs> Everything will be shut down. I tried to tell y'all they, they can speech. read our minds. You're going to feel far more sane when I explain to y'all Bluetooth technology is actually interfering with your daily life. How many of you have gone to Target and maybe stared at the 70 inch TV for a minute too long. And then you go home later that day, you pop on the grams and suddenly there it is, 70 inch TV. You're like, it's, it's meant to be, right? Like how did they know to give me that targeted advertisement, right? Well, the truth is, is that in Target, there are these little Bluetooth low energy beacons and they are listening and they are receiving it. So your Bluetooth has a unique identifier. Later Target's gonna go through, through data brokers and figure out who that is. And that's how they're gonna figure out how to target you later. But that's how you start to get those tag targeted advertisements. So either if it's Android or iPhone, it is getting this information and it is transmitting the raw information about everything your phone wow. can hear during a given time. Hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. Oh. Copyright. Damn. I'm just gonna mute the audio, but this is crazy. What the fuck? They using bro. They, I heard people are saying they using lasers to start these fires. I I really do think they doing that. Wow, bro. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. It's there's it's 
what is going on? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So stop thinking it because you can't see something that don't exist. Right now, you're in front of this screen. You limited to what I'm showing you in front of this screen. You don't know what's behind it, what's around. You don't know none of that. True. I could be a robot. Wow. That's how deep it is right now. Believe none of what you hear and none of what you see. Even if it's said by me. Facts. Mm -hmm. Because the times we living in. Illusionatory. All illusions. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Question everything. Facts. You really do got to question everything. Question everything. That's all I'm saying. Question everything. I know I'm here to tell you the truth, so I don't mind you questioning me. Question me, research me, bag, look it up. That's what I want you to do. I've never told no one, anybody, a lot of y'all are new to the university, man. Motherfuckers who've been here since we was at 105, people on live, no. I've never told you to believe anything I'm telling you. I've told you I'm presenting a perspective to you. Now you got to go deep within and walk that journey yourself. Neo. Neo. Y'all hear me, Neo? And you can't keep running. Can't. Sooner or later, somebody gonna have to fight the bully. You typing on the on the computer, but are you ready to fight though, or are you stuck in this matrix of believing that what you see in front of you is real? Yo, free with charging, my man. You gave out so much knowledge. Everything you see, just electrical light signal sent to the brain. The same uh, way Morpheus told Neo. It is. That's all it is. <laughs> What is Listen, it, man, you are soul and spirit. Nothing more, nothing less. <coughs> you know, I announced my cosmic name. I am Divine Insight. I'm dropping the Rashad Jamal and everything. You feel me? It connects me to the Matrix. You see? I got to fully move out my cosmic name. Rashad Jamal connects me to the Matrix. It'll still be used as title for people to find the page and find the lectures while we got this internet left. But I announced myself as Divine Insight, Grandmaster Teacher of the Eighth Universe. That's who I've been since I returned here. And I I, not, I, I advise you to do the same, to link it to the dark matter, matter energy deep within you and go within yourself and find your cosmic names. Mm. Remember your cosmic name. What's your cosmic name? Damn, bro, you want to figure that out. You, which is a government name. Facts. What's your cosmic name? Go deep within yourself. It shall be revealed to you. Damn. But yeah, understand the way they showed you on Inside Job. I'll do lectures on it to break certain episodes down. I feel like that. I feel like that would be fun. I feel like that would be fun. And it will it will it will help y'all with a visual, especially a lot of youth watching it, but like on Inside Job, episode one with the robot. The president with the robot the president was a robot. And he was able to be controlled by the elites at the top. But then they took some pictures, all that light hit him and it interrupted the light cold lockdown signals. Mm -hmm. He and what he started doing, he snapped out of it and he couldn't be controlled anymore. Mm -hmm. And then he started telling the truth. Now, look at how the elites reacted to him. They sent motherfuckers immediately to shut him down. Damn. To take him out. They took him out, shut him down. And then only thing you was left with at the end of that episode was the president getting on TV and he pushed the agenda that they wanted. But that whole behind the scenes of them chasing them down, hunting them down. Y'all seen them, Inside Job. Rebooting his program, so then putting him back on TV so he can go back. Oh, I didn't mean that earlier. They showed I'm it trying to figure out what episode you're talking about. They showed it to you and get out. This is how it really worked. This is why when Kanye West got on stage and he did snap out and started to tell some truth. Mm -hmm. He ain't sent for a year. Yup. Came back out, gold hair, saying what they wanted him to say. Come on, man. Come on, man. Really? <sighs> Yo, free, free my boy, man. Free my oh, boy, Rashad. Suffered the same fate. He literally told you in the song. I told the magazines they got me in Antarctica. 
What? But if you go look up any lyric video, the elites control this shit. They showed you the inside job. They control all of this. Why did they delete my page? Why are they trying to put a fake case on me right now? They did Dr. York the same way. They control the media. Whoever controls the media controls the mind. Mm -hmm. And if you start to get a hold over their media, then they coming for you like they came for me. Yep. These motherfuckers ain't shit, boy. Democrat presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. claimed that President Biden's mobilization of troops to support Operation Atlantic Resolve is preparation for a ground war with Russia. Kennedy reacted to Biden's decision to call up thousands of military reservists to bolster U.S. troops on, in yeah, Europe as part of the 2014 operation. President Biden just called up 3,000 reservists to augment U.S. troops in Europe as part of Operation Atlantic Resolve, Kennedy tweeted on Friday. I want people to understand what this troop mobilization is about, he continued. It's about preparing for a ground war with Russia. On Thursday, Biden announced that his administration is mustering reserve troops to ensure the effective conduct of Operation Atlantic Resolve in and around the United States European Command's area of responsibility. The president is calling up 3,000 reserve troops from the selected and individual ready reserves, with no more than 450 from the individual ready reserve. Biden's troop augmentation comes while the president is... Real life horror caught on camera. Do that real quick. What is that? <laughs> Come on, bro. Really? Hey, you guys, you want to see something that looks cool? Entertainment purposes only. Don't you just, like, love how they got a machine that can just pick bodies up off of the floor? Like, that's a great invention. Like, you just see that? Oh, you know, I'm just wondering, like, what could they possibly need a machine that can go pick bodies up off the floor? Or, like, what could possibly be planning to happen where you might need a body vacuum to just like pick bodies up. But all seriousness aside, like, where could y'all possibly be thinking that's finna happen where y'all gonna need machines to just go pick bodies up out the street? Like, I'm just trying to know what the fuck going on. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about the robot yeah, vacuum that's great. picking up human bodies off the floor in the comments. Follow me for more wisdom and stay tuned. They really got that. Like, what? Joe Biden is hiding from you that giants are actually real. <laughs> He's doing fucking what now? <laughs> He's just, just leave the poor man alone. He can barely string a full fucking sentence together. He's not hiding giants from you. Knows that giants existed in the past. But what if I told you they still exist in 2020? I'd tell you that you're full of shit, but you want to know what I have noticed about 2023? It's that now half the conspiracy accounts that I have to debunk are just AI. Seriously, check this out. Everyone knows that the Kraken existed in the past, but what if I told you that it still exists today? <laughs> I feel, I feel this odd sense of deja vu. In 2021, a man called Jack Moore spotted a giant- The thing about Jack Moore is that he doesn't exist, but what is very interesting- In 2121, Jack Williams decides to go on a mission to find out the truth about the Kraken. Damn, these conspiracy busting jacks are a dime a dozen. Here he is in the year 2121 doing his best Pirates of the Caribbean cosplay. I can't believe that we have AIs that can just create conspiracies for us now. This is, we really live in the future. Was Jesus actually a mushroom? No, no. Okay, stop. St stop it. <laughs> so, treat your job potentially yeah, nah. like a whore. Use it for what it's worth. Use it to finance your life. True. Use it for all the perks that it comes with and then have an exit strategy. Hell don't yeah. Get to thinking that this whore of a job is going to be loyal to you. That's...
Gotta treat your job looking good. That's right. Something scary has just leaked. You guys remember the missing flight MH370. Nobody knew where the plane had vanished to. But this footage had just been found on a satellite imagery of what supposedly is the plane. And this gets crazy. There seems to be an object that starts to follow and circle the plane. But then not only that, there's a second that comes and does the same exact thing following along the first object. At this point, I know everybody on board was probably freaking out, cause I would be. I'd probably have an accident on myself. Then a third object comes and does the same exact thing. They start swirling in sync with each other, and this all goes on for quite some time. The satellite camera kind of loses track a bit, but then when it gets back on track, the objects have still not left the plane. Now at first I'm thinking it's a planned attack, kind of sort of how sharks circle around a school of fish when they're about to hunt. I'm thinking they're about to attack the plane. By circling, it can better understand the prey's movements and potential weaknesses and determine the best attack point. But all of a sudden, the plane disappears oh. out of thin air. Now my question to you guys is, is this real or fake? Because I've seen nobody debunk this video yet. And it's going nah, all around social media. That's crazy. That was crazy. How did this disappear like that? They're coming for all of you, believe no. it or not. They have hired psychics and other people to spy on you, especially at night. Do not ask how I know it. I can just sense it. I can sense that we will have to fight soon. Bro, we could have got a better picture than that, bro. <laughs> like, what is that blue picture gonna do? I kind of figured that, like these abandoned buildings is labs. That's what I think. The three greatest mysteries of the world. Number oh, three, the mystery of Area 51. Imagine a mysterious desert in Nevada, concealing a secret that has ignited a frenzy of speculations. Area 51, whispers of extraterrestrial visitors and unidentified flying objects linger. Yet the truth remains veiled behind impregnable barriers. The world yearns for revelations, and the tantalizing scraps of information available only stoke the flames of curiosity. Number two, Stonehenge. Nestled within England's serene hills stands an enigma carved in stone. Envision our ancient forebears erecting colossal monoliths long before modern cranes existed. How was it accomplished? What was its purpose? Questions abound. Number one, the submerged Atlantis. Beneath the fathomless depths of the ocean lies a fabled relic, Atlantis. Plato spun its tail, an advanced civilization swallowed by the tides. Explorers and scholars have plumbed the ocean's depths in search of its traces. Did it truly exist? Tell me your opinion. Today we're going to be talking about body snatching and evil spirits, because this is happening on a daily basis. Like, look at bro. Y'all here glitching. We have to understand through these physical eyes, we can see the physical realm, but there's another etheric spiritual realm around us that we can't see through Bats. these eyes. And that's where these energies, spirits, gins, whatever you want to call them, lie. Say you feel like something playing on your energy. You rely on Wikipedia and Google. They're going to tell you that uh, mental, uh, possessions is mental illness. It's associated with mental illness, hysteria, uh, psychophrenic. You're basically crazy if you think something's messing with your energy. But they make plenty of movies like ex Exorcism and pro Possession. Right. They literally You're have not crazy. Something eating is messing a with body energy. eating spirit every day with the Akul. And people drink Akul non ceremonially, non ritually. You're supposed to be drinking this on occasions when you got a, a purpose that where you're trying to actually connect with the spirit room. Right. People be drinking and don't even be thinking spirituality real. If they're not getting usurped, I don't know who is. Obsession. Used to refer to, to being controlled by demons outside your body, whereas mm. possession was being controlled by demons inside the body. That's an interesting fact, because they are the same thing. Mm. Possession, obsession. So let's get into that. Most of these spirits can infiltrate you because you're dealing in your root chakra. You're not getting past the lower levels of envy, greed, pride, lust. You know what I'm saying? All these seven deadly sins, wrath, sloth, gluttony. All these things that can hold your energy back. And this is one of the top Jezebel succubus spirits yeah. right here that most men is battling every day. Seeks out yeah. individuals they feel are weaker to control. That's why if you a strong man, bro, you be like, why well, I can't get a strong woman? It's going to take a while, bro, because a lot of people in this world are damaged and they dealing with these entities. 
If you feeling mm-hmm. unmotivated, if the voice in your head is always detrimental to you, you have an entity with on your body, bro. If you in public and you snap out and you react to everything, bro, you're ungrounded within yourself. But a lot of y'all, if you ain't, if you went on monk mode, if you act, monk mode, let's get it. If you actually hold your life force energy right and go on SR, bro, you won't be so reactive, bro. These spirits won't be able to touch you because you're protected by God. Your orc field is godly. In other words, you vibrating so high, you didn't create a protection for yourself just by walking in your divinity and holding your seed. Yeah. Your seed give you that protection, a bubble. Thanks. You know these beings is getting transferred through all type of waxes and jabs. Let's just say that. Infiltrating us, making us the new walking zomzoms. Because when you look at all these strands, they come with a new strand every year. And you know she got that back back. Backs that thing up. We live, just so, we live in such a Luciferian area. They got posts talking about the benefits of demon possession. Frequent and even occasional demonic possession leaves your body feeling refreshed and relaxed. The magic comes. So even if you get around all the spells and all that, say you become conscious, you looking at stuff like this, you might actually try it. You know what I'm saying? If you dodge all the vaxes and the well, there's so many ways of trying to drain your energy. It's funny, bro, the attempts. But just like extraterrestrials, low beings and gens, and, and they can work through these internet, high and good spirits can work through the internet and through these, uh, through this media and through life too. That's why it's so important not to be chasing money and chasing these material things. These material things you're chasing will leave you in your lower self, which will set you up to get body snatched. All that vengeance, all that get back, all that voice in your head telling you you ain't good enough, that voice in your head telling you you ugly, bro. These are literally body-eating spirits, and they didn't infiltrate your realm at one point in time from the things you was in taking. Whether it was a substance, whether it was food, whether it was a TV screen, they can get through, buddy. Damn, and then if this isn't real, why do they have too. exorcisms? You know wow. what I'm saying? And they actually got documented exorcisms on Google. But a lot of people, they ain't getting no uh, preacher to come help them out. So they tweaking in public. We tweaking together. <laughs> like, look at bro. He had a party show going. Yeah, I yeah. am. And, and I hope and pray that you... Yeah. Ha! Well, that's what you do to babies, huh? Yeah, I love it. You love it, huh? Yeah, I do. Okay, I hope that you come to Christ, sir. Oh, I never go to Christ. I hope that you come to Christ, no, sir. No, I don't go to Christ. Yeah. Wow. That was a crazy bit, I ain't gonna lie. Let's talk about the new earth, the fifth dimensional vibration in which some of us are sending to, but majority of people are not. You have to have already been working on raising your vibrational frequency to align with the universe. Also, if you are still really deep into religion, church, oh, Jesus, Christianity, shit. things like that, um, you will not ascend either because you are still consciously enslaved. And also, religion divides people, okay? And it's also proven to be a false practice. The new earth is all about spirituality. It's all, it's all about freedom of consciousness, freedom of being, okay? And religion does not allow you to be that way. Mm-hmm. If you still have the reptilian diet, if you still are consuming meat, you will not okay. sin either because your yep. pineal gland is blocked. True. That's true. That's true. That's true. Weighing your body down, that means you cannot you raise be your vibrational food, frequency man. if you are be weighed eating. down Damn, like, by yo, meat. Uh, okay. <laughs> the new earth calls people to be vegan and vegetarian. Eat a lot healthy. Yeah. Definitely copyright. Billie Eilish could die an early, shocking death all because of her eyes? Yes, you heard that right. Billie Eilish has a lot of white showing underneath the iris of her eyes. Anyone with these type of eyes, called Yin Senpaku eyes, are cursed according to Japanese superstition. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul and predict the soul's fate. And in the theory, anyone with these eyes met a tragic end. Japanese authors were able to predict John F. Kennedy's assassination death and Marilyn Monroe's suspicious overdose death just because of their eyes. According to the theory, anyone with these type of eyes are in danger from the outside world. People are out to get them. Other examples, including the great Michael Jackson, who was killed by his doctor, and more my recently, Mac Miller, who was sold something counterfeit. People with opposite eyes with whites showing above the iris are said to be a danger to everyone else, like Charles Manson. The most recent example that people within this theory have noticed is Juice War LD. Will Billy be okay? When they first introduced these black screens, they told us they'd be a vital tool for our everyday use. But what we didn't prepare for is how addicting these screens is. 
But what's the message of why they even make these screens? When you look at television, when they brought around the tele vision, right? This was a program created, the system was sending messages along the wires. So that didn't change to this day. Your smartphone, your iPhone is hacking your brain. In my everyday life, when I'm out in public, I work off my phone. So I look at it and I utilize it. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright, that's it. Even working off of my phone, I be in public and I see people, everyone's down. Everybody head be down. Then I got to yeah. thinking like, yo, this is the black portal. I want to talk about AI taking control of the planet. We already serving the AI. You have a conscious mm -hmm. brain and a subconscious brain, and you are consistently being programmed by what you intake through there. And like I said, the last thing these elites want is for you to have a clear and crystal mind. But the question is, why are phones so addicting, right? It's a neurotransmitter that makes you feel good in our brain when we use our phone. Our brains are designed to release dopamine when we do something that meets a survival need, like eating or procreating. Countless studies have shown that phone activity causes the release of dopamine in our brain, making us feel aroused, bro. Motivated and happy. And these elites that set out this technology did this little by little. I'm not saying our ancient technology, we didn't have phones. I'm pretty sure in the hieroglyphs there was some phones. It's crazy because we talk about mind control with celebrities, but the average human walk Like, walk out the door right now and forget your phone, bro. You're going to almost have a panic attack, man. It's to the point where we can't even get the dis can't even get a disconnection for these phones for us to, to rest. That's why I sleep with my phone in a whole nother room, in a drawer. I put it in a drawer and in another room. Because most people are on these phones consuming. They're not even using the tools. Like, you know how many apps is you know how many apps and applications is on a cell phone, but people don't use it for that. People use it for their dopamine release. But here's some better ways to activate the subconscious mind. Visualizing your goals, set and repeat positive self-affirmations, maintain a dream diary, write down your thoughts, meditate regularly, listen to your intuition. But all of this is getting severed by AI. Also, you can track your usage on how much you're on your phone. Find out your true values in life. So when you open the screen, what are you actually doing it for? Turn your notifications off. That's so powerful, bro. When you hear that ding, ding, <laughs> that is a, that's a call, bro. Yeah. Do not disturb your phone if you don't got immediate business. It's to the point now where people drive to the same locations and they still use a GPS, bro. If that ain't mind hacking, I don't know what it is. But these elites knew what they was doing by releasing this technology without warning us first. I feel like all of us should have got a class on how to operate this phone before. But you know what? They actually give us tutorials, but we skip through our terms and conditions, accept it, and try to log in the phone quick. You also could talk about the blue light that got the effect on your pineal gland and how these blue lights connect with certain brainwave frequencies to put you in meditative states, to put you in sleep states, but to just keep you up enough to keep your eyes open. You ever been scrolling on the phone and you dozing off, but you still make sure to keep scrolling? Alpha waves in the human brain are between 6 to 8 hertz. The wave frequency of the human cavity resonates between 6 and 8 hertz. All the biological systems operate in the same frequency range. The human brain's alpha wave function in this range and the electrical resonance of the earth is between 6 and 8 hertz. Thus, our entire biological system, the brain, the earth itself, work on the same frequency. If we could control that resonate system electronically, we could directly control the entire mental system of humankind. Tesla already wow. knew the that's why they bumped him out the way. They like, we need your blueprint. He Tesla knew how to get free energy. They like, no, we want to charge for energy and we going to take theirs. And I read that because you can't tell me Google ain't never read your mind. This phone never read your mind. That's because the same matter that make up these screens is the same. A lot of people say they predict your actions off your database, but no, nah, they literally sometimes pull the thoughts straight out your mind. You ain't even said out your mouth. Like, let you talk about you about to catch a flight. Now you getting advertisement for tickets. You just think about something for too long. They gonna, here, here. Me personally, I feel like this ought to our benefit. It all depends on how much of a mental alchemist you is and how much you could decipher and battle against this technology. World War III is on your subconscious. That's why I took my power back and started creating content and started utilizing this, this black screen. So whenever I pick up this phone, I force myself to do something on it. But even through that, we're still being usurped. Because in reality, we think, fetch my emails, navigate to John's house, show me the news, whole time, charge me up, give me some Wi-Fi, answer this call, one, 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 call this in, do this. You know what I'm saying? Do these. And you know why I say that? 
Because when I be in public, bro, I make sure to pick my head up because I don't want to be the one that's like, um, I don't want somebody to see me and be just on me on my phone and then be like, bro, he's a bot. I know it's ego a little <laughs> right. bit. I'll be doing that be in, too. Like, if I'm by myself, I'll, I'll lock in with my phone and be doing what I got to do, right? But I'm not mindlessly scrolling. And this is my right. design for you to my, uh, mindlessly scroll. You know what I'm saying? They said they put context algorithms to surface content that they think will like. You know what I'm saying? So they strategically setting this up. They said the average smartphone owner unlocks their phone 150 times a day. That's ridiculous, bro. That is like, actually insane. You know what I'm saying? Insane. You know how many times? It, this is just a 150 times at our a phone. day. We get mad at our phone. That's feeding this black portal energy. Because these iPhones is portals into a new dimension. You don't got to look up all in the sky. It's right here. Now, I'm not against technology, but I feel we should have more discipline in how much we consume it and paying attention to how much we letting this phone consume us and our disconnection through human interaction. Like I said earlier, when I'm in public and I see people out and about, bro, everybody has their phone down. My head is up. If I'm not working, my head is up. You know what I'm saying? But it's majority of time, my head be down too. Everybody want that instant fix, but when you're not grounded with yourself, this phone manipulates your insecurities. That's what's really true about these apps in this phone, bro. So when people get in relationships or when they're around their peers, they kind of find no satisfaction within just being within the moment, having fun because they're looking for the next hit. They're looking for more stimulant. Like, it ain't enough. But you can't even appreciate human interaction. Y'all just being bored in each other's presence. Y'all just enjoying small talk because you're disconnected with human life. You got all your pleasure from the hub. You got all your laughing from Instagram. So when you meet a female or you meet a person, in you don't need to laugh. You don't need to do all these things in real life. You get it off your black screen. Just remember yeah. this quote. Remember this quote. That is true, bro. This shit crazy. They got everybody fucked up. This is here, man. the time that everyone needs to be aware of and everybody needs to know the truth. There's a reason they're censoring everything because they don't want you to know the truth. I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not here to put words in your mouth. I'm not here to put thoughts in your head. I'm only here to show you what you can see with your own eyes and then let you decide what truth is. If you're seeing this on August 24th, stop and stay. Today's the first day of Mercury Retrograde. Oh my God, I gotta sneeze. Confirmation to what I'm about to say. And for the non-believers, let me tell you why the last two weeks been hell in certain areas of your life. Venus retrograde is still kind of going on. Mercury retrograde just started today. So Venus is all about the energy of love, affection, and relationships. And then Mercury is a lot of technical issues and money issues. And all that's happening together. So get your house in order. I told y'all that yesterday. Secondly, get all your ducks in a row. Recheck everything. Recheck everything. And the biggest thing for all of this, for me, is miscommunication. Whether it's with a loved one, relationship, situationship, sneaky link, uh, parents, guard, whatever. So be very clear and concise and straight to the point. You will be tried. So don't give them that energy back. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Russell with the multiple sons. One... Two, three, four, wow. five. Wow. That's crazy. Five sons, my nigga. Six Never look sons. at your mirror at 2.38 in the morning. When you kiss someone, traces of saliva remain in the mouth for three days. The most told mm. lie in the world is, I'm fine. Someone talks behind your back. And it's the second person that appears when you click on share and more. The sudden sensation of falling when you're about to fall asleep is classified as a mild epileptic seizure. Comment on my crush bar and let your spell checker finish. Some ancient myths claim that when a child is born, they cry because they still feel the pains from their past life's death. Wow. If you try to hold in a sneeze, you risk breaking a blood vessel in your head or neck and dying. People with blue eyes tend to have a higher alcohol tolerance. We are 8 billion on Earth, and none have zero likes on their comment. 
If three years ago you were 13, how old will you be in three years? Follow me to become smarter every day. Check this out. A mermaid was allegedly captured by government agents. And if you look closely, you can clearly see the mermaid. But that's not all. Look at this. A fisherman made a chilling discovery, finding a lifeless mermaid washed ashore. Still don't believe me? Here's another. A fisherman managed to catch one, but she broke free, taking the truth with her. Save this TikTok and share it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Well, I'm running. Sure. Any time they, they got that it, you bro. Something, they got it. You're going to always have people like this that come running. And this True. Uh, clown, I mean, Mr. Shadows, made several different comments on the Rashad video that I just posted like two or three days ago. But it was this specific comment. Entry point contact mode. What are we doing? What the fuck is going on with TikTok? TikTok is most times as you ban me. You let stuff like this go on? Right. Come I literally on, got my page deleted before. Do you know it's kids on this app? I ain't gonna lie, United States, go ahead and delete TikTok like y'all about to do. Go ahead. Because it seemed like all type of that NPCs, was crazy, Tyrones, and Bonds is taking crazy. over. I missed the old TikTok. What the fuck is this? Take it to fly, boy. Ultimate Cuba, come at your ass. Take it to fly, boy. 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 Know they're doing all that just so for some money, bruh. Watch this video. It's crazy, bro. Starting September 1st. Snap recipients ages 18 to 50 who don't work or volunteer 20 hours a week could lose benefits. This is literally just an excuse to take food out of people's bellies. First, the groceries are already high as hell. And in order to get food stamps, you can't make too much money. So the government is going to force people to work, make too much money, Nah, you really can't get food stamps. They're literally sending billions to you. And we can't even get food stamps. The American citizens. This government do not care about their citizens. And y'all keep wondering, what are we striking for? What are we striking for? Do y'all see the shit that I'm seeing? They are price gouging. There is no reason why a one bedroom apartment should be fucking $2,000. And people are getting paid pennies on the dollar. Fun jobs that pay a lot. Chocolate taste tester $40,000 yearly. Ice cream taste tester $60,000 yearly. Writer for fortune cookies $45,000, $80,000 yearly. It's pretty cool. I look into that fortune. Don't have TVs in my house. I fucking hate it. I do not have TVs in my house because I'm not letting that propaganda get to my kids. My kids watch cartoons from the 80s, 90s. They don't watch any cartoons from today. There's not going to be any any like look in Disney. Whenever they do those movies, they have subliminal messages, sex, or they have a or some shit like that. My kids are not watching that crap. Um, I remember. Uh, they came out with a new Marvel movie, and I used to take my kid to all the Marvel movies, you know. Uh, but this one, they had two guys kissing. I'm like, sorry, we can't go to this one. And I had to explain to him that it's just got bad stuff. I can't. I don't want to have those conversations with my 10-year-old child. Tom Holland was getting bummed by some black dude on the scene of the movie, and then her, his actual girlfriend in real life, Zendaya, was being kissed by these two guys. And he had to watch it on the scene or some shit. Like literally, like, and it's just weird satanic shit. I've seen that. That's disgusting. I made a video about it on Twitter. So he's actually on the scene getting bombed by some black dude. And this is like Spider-Man. So all the youth is watching Spider-Man being They're fucked thinking by it's normal. Dude. They're thinking it's normal now. Warning. I am going to expose the dark truth about parents in the Western civilization today. And I am going to expose the biggest agenda that the government has on the youth and parents today. I am going to expose the reason why you're seeing a lot of people fucked up in their heads mentally, spiritually, and why relationships are not working these days, and why parents don't, and why parents are not together these days, and why they don't work it out on purpose. The government does a whole lot of propaganda, especially in the Western civilization. So black men and Latino men get brainwashed to do game banging shit, sell drugs, and do low life dumb bullshit just so they can get arrested. You feel me? It's a setup, bro. They want you to do these things. They want you to get guns and drugs so then you can, you feel me? Go to prison or get killed. Why? Because then they have more control over the youth. 
thought a father oh. raising them will respect morals and how to move in the survival real world, these kids are going to grow fucked up and being lost and feminine. And to make matters worse, bro, these kids got to go to school. So guess what, bro? They have more control over these kids' minds because they can easily be brainwashed at school and be more controlled by other people, social media, and what other kids is on and following trends. And now, let's just think about the times of today. What do they want women to do? They want old women to be independent, be too good for a nigga, be too egotistic for a nigga, say fuck old niggas, use niggas for their money, do only fans, and use niggas as piggy banks with dicks, pretty much. And why do they do this? Because they don't want women to love men and be with men to raise them in the household. And when, they're, and they're, when there's no men in the picture, real actual men, then imagine when a woman is fucked up too without, the, without a real man. And a woman doesn't need a man and doesn't want to do nothing with a man. Bro, shit's only gonna get way more worse and more fucked up. That woman's gonna grow up being yeah. masculine, being independent, acting like a man, raising a child to be that way. And shit's not gonna work, bro. Women cannot do that. They cannot leave being masculine and being logical no, when they're okay. biologically made to be emotional. And to make matters worse, like I said, they're too independent, right? So guess what? The man is missing in the picture. Now let's think about the woman. The woman is too independent, has to work for herself now and be masculine. So guess what? The kid is coming home, being home alone because both their parents are not there. The man's locked up, killed or in jail or working, and the woman's also working and trying to provide and be a man. When that's not even how things should be, bro. That's not how the real survival world actually works. Yeah. Imagine how kids are being raised and how they're growing up being fucked up without both their parents in the house, growing up in a fucked up household that's toxic or don't even have both parents in the picture, don't even know what real love is, real support, real peace. And, grow, and teaching them how to grow up and how to survive on their own. Just imagine a woman raising that on her own while she's fucked up with all these things. Especially because social media and the government and all these propaganda on TV and just in general society attacks black women, especially black women and Latino women. They target them the most and they target us men too and kids, especially the youth. They're attacking the youth the most because the youth is yep. the future and they want to enslave the youth. And once they get are the parents and all us all of us adults fucked up, there is no role models, there is no leader. So guess what? It's easier to control these kids and and start enslavement sooner than later because that's what they do. They get us when we're young and they keep doing this for generations and generations and now they're starting to move harder more than ever. This is why the world is, can, is looking so fucked up right now. Yeah, a lot of people are waking up to the truth, but there is still a lot of people that are lost out here, that are brainwashed and that are bird-brained and that are deceived and just completely lost in consciousness. You feel, you feel me? They're lost. Oh, they're not aware of reality. And they're lost and they just follow the crowd. But yeah, man, we all need to start waking up to the truth and start accepting our responsibility and start living our life with a higher purpose for the bigger picture and start living for other people because... We're not the only ones that is living here. Other people are here living too, just like me and you. What emotions, awareness, trying to grow up and just trying to survive. And we need to start being better for each other so then we can start having more families that are together, that are men and women, that are genuinely in love together, raising kids the right way with the woman doing her part and the man doing his part, raising family with real love, real masculine yep. and feminine, balanced energy at the house where Punch. things are right and things are not set up wrong. And thing, and they're not, and these people are not in relationships for the wrong reasons. Because a lot of people in the Western civilization that are men and women get in relationships for the dumbest fucking beneficial reasons. For what? Money, um, to get papers, to get go other countries, and just dumb beneficial shit. You feel me? A lot of people get in there for the wrong egotistic reasons instead of genuinely trying to grow together, help each other, pockets grow, spiritually grow, mentally grow, connect with God. It's just, you feel me, it's just a lot of things that a lot of people fuck up at where it's just the little things that can make, these little things that could change can make make a bigger change overall with just how we're moving together as, as a unit, as a family, as a whole. You feel me? Because we are all brothers and sisters and we all need to start acting like it. But anyways, y'all, I just had to go on a little rant explaining to y'all the dark truth about relationships in the Western civilization nowadays and parents and households. Cause this shit's out of pocket. Nobody's speaking enough on this, but that's what I'm here for. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed this video. This this shit was a little long, but G West family, stay true to yourselves and stay powerful. I love y'all. Peace. What's what's going on?
Dude, it's fucking nuts. Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, that red was super fucking red. It's like in a circle, you see it? That lighting is crazy, I don't know why. goes off too. Like, blasts. I don't know if it's like, because I'm doing it through the window or what, but... Dude, that's fucking nuts. Let me open it a little. Damn. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything red. It's a war of devil light. Yeah, it was red. Dude, the way... It, the pattern of it is insane. I'm... Damn. I don't know. There's He's not even stopping either. There. It's literally crazy. Someone's phone's going off. We finally discovered how the Simpsons managed to predict the future, and you're going to be shocked. You've probably heard about it, and it's becoming uncontrollable. Several months ago, an enigmatic message appeared on Reddit catching my attention, despite the complete absence of posts. The responses were even more unsettling, triggering an avalanche of wild theories. These responses suggested that the Simpsons are the chosen vehicle for the elite to unveil their plans. The creator of the series, Matt Groening, is purportedly a member of the Freemasonry and involved in events like the death of Jeffrey Epstein and the September 11 attacks. The theories are numerous, but one question remains. How can the Simpsons predict the future with such accuracy? For four months, we tirelessly investigated, delved into popular theories, and developed our own hypotheses. We conducted in-depth research, gathered rare data, consulted statistics, and interviewed experts. Eventually, an explanation emerged, an explanation that challenges conventional wisdom, widely ignored by the general public, and that will overturn everything you think you know about The Simpsons and their connection to global events. I feel like waking somebody up today. When the fourth trumpet sounds, there is some type of celestial event that leaves a third of the sun, moon, and the stars will be darkened. So that there will only be natural light for one third of the day and one third of the night for this would result in darkness and extreme cold can you imagine a world full of darkness and cold then i looked and i heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly something strange was caught in an underwater drone I'm sorry, where am I wrong? Mama, please don't you cry, I'm sorry. What? Well. Alright, well, that is it, people. We'll see you guys in the next one, man.